What's going on, everybody? This is Dave from This Is Pop Punk Promotions. I'm here with Ollie from London, England, from Till the Fest. How's it going, Ollie? Yeah, good. How are you doing, Dave? I'm doing good, man. Really appreciate you coming on. Let's dive right into it. So when and how did you start up Till the Fest? Okay, yeah. So I've been running gigs for like 20 years, and this is the 20th um, anniversary party. Um, so it's... Uh, it's an idea that I've just been kind of have had for a while. Um, I wanted to do something for my 10th anniversary, but I, there was too, some other stuff going on. Um, and yeah, so it's just, I'm trying to just kind of like say hi to like the buddies that are still around from over the last 20 years and just try and represent all the different kind of periods in that. And, uh, and yeah, we've got a cool scene in our, like on our street, we've got loads of venues and bars and stuff. So using them and uh, yeah, and just bringing everyone down for a cool party, you know? Yeah. That's awesome, man. So besides your festival, what's your favorite festival? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, the fest in Florida, I've been to three times. I think that's amazing. Um, I'm trying to kind of build something similar to that. And this is like the first one. So we've got three venues on this one, but there's like potential to do about seven venues around this street. I think the fest does about 20. Um, Manchester Punk Festival is the kind of closest we've got to that in the UK. And that's uh, like eight venues. Um, but yeah, it's all a similar vibe. It's just, it's just that kind of crew that you meet on the circuit and the bands you play with. And, you know, it's the scene you know <laughs> but but yeah it's cool you know it's my kind of music and uh, yeah that's sick man so if you could have one really big band on your uh on your festival which one oh shit uh i don't know it would be something like the minor threat reunion or the operation ivy reunion like that's i guess i don't know that's a pretty like stock answer isn't it but um I don't know. Yeah. I've got guns and wankers on this festival. I've got Lightyear on this festival. And like for me, they're like really special bands. Sonic Boom 6. Apologies, I have none. They're like really special bands for the UK, you know. Um, so I'm I'm really happy with what we've got going on there. But yeah, I mean, as far as like the dream band, I don't know, uh, Prince, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. That'd be sick, man. So if you could tour with one of those bands, which one? Um, okay. So the band Lightyear that I just mentioned, I'm going to start telling another band stories, <laughs> but those guys were the craziest. They got kicked off of um, the Jackass tour for making too much of a mess. They, uh, they got in a pantomime horse. I don't know if you have that in America, but it's like a comedy horse where two people, as you got the front and the back. Um, they went on stage when they were playing a festival with Body Count um, and Ice-T and went and did that two days in a row. And Ice-T was threatening them like with murder. And that band and all of the bands that they're friends with all got their passes taken off of them on ice tea's request wow uh, yeah you know stuff like that i love you know the the big stories the the sort of legendary comedy comedy things the madness you know that's crazy mm. so you're from uh london england how's the scene there do you have a favorite local band a favorite venue yeah wait like, so i live in new cross in southeast london and we have here the new cross inn and the amateur moms and the matchstick pie house and they're all just at the end of my street we're using them all for the festival um and that's where i hang out you know um the scene's great tomorrow uh there's a thing called concrete culture um with bands like chubby and the gang and the chisel uh, it's a it's a real uk hardcore show uh, but yes yeah, in this big old abandoned pub on the ring road and out the back, there's a kind of skate set, like a concrete street skate set. Um, I think it's going to rain tomorrow, which which will suck. But uh, but yeah, just stuff like that. The, the other day, I went to another show in like a, just like a concrete kind of public skate park with like stoner doom bands playing. Um, 
you know, I like the weird venue stuff. I like the stuff in the rail arches. I like the stuff that's outside when we get the weather. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's a really thriving scene. And you know, like you've got like a punk scene, but like, cause London's a city of like 8 million people. So you've got the punk scene, but then that's each like kind of section of that is as big as like most places whole punk scene. So like the ska punk scene is about 500 people. Or, like the kind of crusty scene is like 500 people. So, um, and you can, and everyone just kind of like nips in and out between the lot of them, but there's like a core where everyone's, you know, they dress the same and they, they're into the same bands and they, you know, swap music and, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know? That sounds really sick, I man. I wish I was there. I'll tell you what, for example, um, I'm a DJ at the moment for my buddy Hassan, who's like an alt rapper, but he's also the singer in a, like a dope punk band, uh, Triple Sunday. And this is his other project, Luna. So he's like, he's British Pal Palestinian. So um, it's like really kind of focused on like the, you know, the humanitarian crisis there. And, uh, <clears throat> but we're playing, you know, dope punk shows and festivals because we're like punk guys. So it's really cool in that respect that people are just kind of like into like hanging out and doing stuff, even if it is different. There's a, there's a really kind of like buzzing kind of a, it's like a fusion between um, grime and punk and stuff happening at the moment. It's a young scene. It's like, you know, these guys are like in their early twenties, but they're flying up, you know, and their shows are just the best and they're the most inclusive and, and just everyone's up and dancing. So yeah, this, this a really cool kind of diverse scene happening at the moment, you know, musically, demographically, there's lots of people that wouldn't know each other. I think that are making friends and checking stuff out. And it seems like there was something bubbling during the lockdown and now it's kind of come into fruition a bit. Um, Cause you know, th it was a clear out really, I think. You know, some places closed and some people decided they had a break and, you know, maybe they're not ready to get back into the music again yet. I don't know. Um, or maybe they just want to do something else or maybe they're working on a new project. There's lots of stuff happening at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, I've walked into a different thing that I, that I walked out of two years ago. Um, and I love it. It's fresher. It's, it's like making me kind of like go, oh yeah, we've got to go check this out. It's, it's different and it's, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what it's all about, making new friends. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. Look, like this, like us today, you know? Yeah. Mm. Cheers to Andy. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mr. Dazzler. Yeah. All right, man. So now I'm going to ask you some non-music questions. It's a good way for me to get to know you. I did this with the, uh, the other people that I interviewed. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Our first one, favorite food. Oh, okay. My fiance's just made me a wonderful vegan duck stir fry, which I, at the moment is my favorite food. Um, I don't know. Uh, there's a great place that's open down the road that's doing a really nice uh, vegan pizza at the moment. Um, I mean, I suppose consistently the food that I like and think about the most is chips. The different ways you can cook chips, the different ways you can make chips, how chips are different. For example, if you get a chip, the chips from the Chinese takeaway, I think they use like MSG in the oil or they use a different kind of oil because that's different from if you get it from the Turkish place. Um, I was running a vegan uh, fried chicken pop up a little while ago and um, I made my chips. I was really proud of my chips. Um, Maris Piper potatoes, left in water for two hours to wash away the starch, um, then fried and then left to cool and then fried again and then seasoned with a mix of sea salt, uh, oregano and black pepper. So yeah, let's go with chips. Yeah. You just made me really hungry. Thank yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I look like a ghost. My living room light isn't very bright. Oh, um, you're good, man. It's starting to go, get a bit dark, so I've put the, the phone phone lamp on, but yeah. 
So if you could go back in time and talk to one world leader or person of influence, who would it be? Ooh. A dead musician counts. Okay. Okay. Um, I'd probably go back and film Jesus saying word for word what he meant so that people can't use it as an excuse to do things that are very unchristlike. That'd be a good one, man. That'd be a really good one. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I might go back and talk to... Um, no, I'm just going to leave it with Jesus. Yeah. Sounds good. If you could be fluent in another language, which language? French. I'm a real francophile. I really I, like I um I toured with a French band to the Ukraine and back once and it took like a month and I learned some like Bordeaux slang and stuff like uh va mecton which is just like all right man. Um <laughs> uh I just really like the French style. Um and that's not I mean there's traditionally a kind of xenophobia between England and France which is obviously bollocks because all xenophobia is bollocks. But uh, I just really love the style. I love the fashion. I love the way people eat, the way people drink, the way they talk. Yeah, French, big time. Good one. Mm. If you had a million dollars and you could donate to any charity, which one? Ah, okay. Um, the one that I usually donate to is the Lewisham the women's project at the Lewisham refugee project um we, it's a pretty like uh, diverse area around here kind of a poor area as well and there's this little shack just out over the over the way there and that's where they have the project and they just keep supplies in there and it's where people can go to get information if i gave them a million dollars which is about i think it's about nine hundred thousand pounds they could get a real nice shack and uh you get some, you know, nice toys for the kids and some hygiene products and just like be kitted out for a long time. I think that'd be real nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm DJing for Luna now. So Medical Aid for Palestine, we're uh, Medical Aid for Palestinians. We're uh, raising a lot of money for them at the moment. We, we put up QR codes around the gigs so people can just like click on it, like with their phones and just um, donate like that. Um, and yeah, we have a pot as well. It's usually about a hundred quid in the pot at the end of the gig so that's it's good yeah yeah very cool so i'm a big lord of the rings guy it's my favorite movie of all time i'm a nerd not gonna lie uh, i'm sure you've seen some of the memes <laughs> yeah yeah so if you could be any lord of the rings character which one? Oh, i think uh uh ian mckellen's guy you yeah. that's good <laughs> That's yeah, really yeah. good. Which one yeah. would you be? Would you be the white one or the gray one? The gray one's more fun and the white one's more awesome. Yeah, the white one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be more awesome? Yeah, more awesome. I'm already fun. I want to be more awesome. Okay. Yeah. More powerful. <laughs> Sounds mm. good. Mm. All right, man. Last question. What are some places in London where you're at that visitors should check out? Oh, okay. Um, all Ages Records is our punk shop in Camden. Um, there's great vegan food all over London. New Cross Inn. Um, just anywhere that's doing a punk show, really. And there's loads of cool little spaces, like underground and like basement bars and um, attic bars. Not as accessible as some places, but yeah, just like back rooms and stuff. Um, Shackwell Arms is pretty cool um signature brew really great brewery um that so we've got a problem in the uk with um that is an age-old problem with beer riders for bands being warm cans of carlsberg or carling the cheapest piss drink you can get um so it's my buddy sam and he played in this great band uh, jb conspiracy for a long time and he a bit of a beer aficionado um, started this thing and basically the idea is to replace those piss water riders with good stuff 
and they've got a couple of places that double up as music venues as well. So, um, yeah, check that out. Check out uh, Pint of Roadie. It's a really nice beer. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Well, I, uh, I really appreciate you coming on and, and chatting up a little bit. I really appreciate you supporting me, and this is Pop Punk Promotions. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Nice one, Dave. Thanks. Of course. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll talk soon. I hope you have a great night. Yeah. Can I just say? Oh, oh go ahead. Check out uh, www. That's World Wide Web. Uh, Tillthewheels.com. Thank you. You beat me to it. I was going to ask you for the people that are going to watch this later. Where can they find you guys at? Yeah. 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 That's where I'm at. I've got everything on there. That's awesome. All cool. right, man. Well, I hope you have a great night. We'll chat soon. Great. Cheers, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Bye.